Hello everybody, my name is Doomfish, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can make some very easy redstone clock designs here. So redstone clocks are machines that basically you can click a lever or push a button, and they will just continually go and give out pulses um, once every certain length of time. Now these are probably some of the most useful and most important for you to know redstone contraptions um, in the game basically. I would say that maybe 70 to 80% of my builds have at least one of these things, maybe two, and they definitely can be used in all sorts of different ways. So the first design here is one where you can't really change how long uh, the delay between the pulses are, like the rest of our designs, but it's still definitely one of the most useful ones. All it is is a sticky piston facing into an observer, and you can see these two are sort of facing each other with the block in between. When we flick the lever, the sticky piston extends, and we should see that the observers make a clock out here that gives a pulse um, at a very quick rate. I think it's like one every three redstone ticks, maybe, if I remember correctly. And this is great for things like um, your dispensers, your droppers, anything that needs to be powered a lot. Like you need to have a lot of pulses over a long amount of time, and you have a very compact system here to do so. Next up, we've got two designs here that are variable, meaning you can change the timings on them, and they're also very simple. So the first one is a very, very old design, a very classic what you would think of when you make a timer in redstone. Just a button here connected to a looping set of repeaters, and you can see the lamp turns on for a little bit, turns off, and this pulse sort of snakes its way around. Now a better way to do this is to use a lever into a comparator that is right-clicked, so it's in subtract mode, some redstone dust here, and the same loop of repeaters like so. We flick the lever, we'll see that it powers on, and then it'll power off here when it reaches this point. And this is a lot easier to time as well, and you can put a monostable circuit on the end, so you can get one tick per every, um, like this one's set to four seconds, so you'll get uh, four seconds on, four seconds off, and it's very easy to measure. Now this design is great if you have a lot of pulse delay, or a lot of delay between your pulses, and you want to have a compact design to do so. So we've got eight items in this hopper right here, and you could vary this to however much you want to fill up this um, hopper right here. And the more items you have, the longer delay between the pulses you're going to get. So all it is, is two hoppers facing into each other, redstone comparators coming out of the sides, into blocks with redstone dust on them, and then two sticky pistons up here with a redstone block in between them. This lever is off, meaning the machine is off, and we flick it on. We'll see that once every approximately five to six seconds or so, we'll get a pulse out of here from this torch on the very end. So to calculate how long your pulse is, all you have to do is take the items in this hopper and multiply it by 0.8 seconds. So we have 8 items in this hopper, meaning that once every 6.4 seconds, we should get a pulse out of this torch right here. Now these designs, with exception to this one right here, so this one, this one, and this one, are definitely what I would consider to be your standard designs. So these three I use in most of my builds. Now I'm going to show you a couple of uh, timer designs that are maybe less utilized. So this contraption relies on the redstone component that is the most like a normal timer, which is a daylight sensor. And so this one measures approximately the time in the morning um, that the game skips to when a player goes to sleep. So all it is is three redstone dust out here. Peter set to one tick facing into this setup right here. Sticky piston into a block into a redstone lamp. And then another one tick repeater four redstone dust away from our daylight sensor. And then we have a four tick repeater coming out of here looping back into that same piston. So now I've set the time to what it would be right when the player would wake up from bed, and now I'm just going to use a command to make the time advance, and what we should see is that this pulse will go ahead and extend to this right here, and we do get a short pulse out of this lamp right here. And this will only power in the morning cycle when it's, three, when it's at night, or when it's at the daytime and it's powering down to a three tick pulse here, or a three length pulse rather, we won't get a pulse. This is a great way to measure if your server has just reset and is just going over the day-night cycle again. Now this design right here measures once every five minutes. So you get a pulse once every five minutes once this machine is turned on, and right now it is turned off. So all it is is a dropper here, and you're going to have to put some items in it so it can be really anything. Anything that despawns, I'd recommend having a stackable item, something like dirt maybe, that you really have a ton of and you don't mind losing some of. And then we have a block down here with our wooden pressure pad on top, two redstone torches like so, glass around the side, a solid block right here with the dropper on top facing inward, and a torch coming out of this, or a, uh, a lamp coming out of this torch right here. Now what we should see, if we grab an item, and we toss it down, the clock goes ahead and starts. 
And now once this item despawns, which as long as this clock is loaded, it should take five minutes for it to despawn. We're going to simulate that by just going ahead and picking up the item. We'll get a pulse out here, another item gets spat out, and the process repeats itself. So if you want a five minute timer here that's very, very simple and can last for a long time, then this is a design for you. Now the last design here is a bit more of a fun one, not too practical. All it is is our comparator timer from earlier with these timings right here and a uh, feeding into a monostable circuit. So this is one tick repeater, four tick sticky piston with a block on top, feeding into a piston feed tape. Now this barrel has one item in it, another barrel of course. And what we should see when we flip the lever is that these pistons all have slightly different timings and we get a, pist a piston feed tape. So these things are pretty useful in a lot of contraptions that are more for niche, not really for farm purposes, but you can hook this up to a timer by using glass and the feed tape and going ahead and having one solid block. When the solid block gets to this point, it'll sort of activate this comparator and we do get a pulse out this direction. So that's all the designs that I'm going to show you for today. And again, these ones are very useful over here on the left hand side, and these ones are more fun and have niche purposes. For the rest of the video, I'm just going to show you a couple examples of farms or contraptions that I've made that use clocks. So just in like the past week alone, I've made a lot of contraptions that use clocks. So here's the creeper farm, which is controlled by again that hopper clock we saw earlier. And I believe this one has 16 items in it, like so. And it's very important for controlling when these water streams are on or off, which maximizes the efficiency of the farm. Also, at the nether tree farm, we've got a comparator clock down here, and you can see, you can recognize it by this comparator with the front light turned on into a loop of repeaters. Also, we do have a clock over here using observers, which goes ahead and releases the bone meal to grow up our nether trees. And again, over at the nether vine farm, we do have something similar in the back here. Again, anytime we're using bone meal dispensers in a farm, most likely, if you're watching one of my videos, I'm going to be using one of these observer clocks back here, just because it's very, very helpful in rapidly deploying pulses out to these bone meal dispensers. And a good example of one of our less used um, contraptions, this is the analog clock in Minecraft, so we can look at the front here, and it does still work. Um, the timings might be a little bit off because I haven't been in this world for a while, and I believe I turned the time skip off. But there we go, it is just turned to 1 o'clock on the clock. And we can see that this is a reset mechanism, so anytime the player goes to sleep, it'll sense that and set the clock to the appropriate time. That's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed or found it informative and learned a lot about the usefulness and a couple different designs of redstone clocks in Minecraft. So if you enjoyed, don't be afraid to drop a like on the video, and you can subscribe for more content just like this in the future, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.